Question number five is for 1,000. Which word usually describes a student who returns to education some years after leaving school? Major. Matronly. Mature. Mellow. No, this one. I was one. Mature. Uh, it's the right answer. You have £1,000. <laughs> Feel all right so far? So far. Question number six is for 2,000. Which of these is a type of light pastry cake? Athenian twirl, Roman curl, Parisian swirl, Viennese whirl. It would be, would be a Viennese whirl. Have you ever had one? Not for a long time. What was it like? Cream and jam in the middle and icing sugar on the top, as I remember. <laughs> I don't remember very clearly or care much. Final answer. Final answer. Viennese World D is the right answer, Gordon. You have £2,000. <laughs> How'd you feel? Good? Better now. Now, Newport. Yes. In Wales. Ah. Well, it is. <laughs> you may think so. Oh, is it? So is it in England? No. I, I don't know where it is at the moment. <laughs> I want to describe myself as a Monmouthshire man. When you go home... Yes? Where are you? Monmouthshire. Is that in England or Wales? <laughs> I don't... I class it as neither. <laughs> OK, right, but uh, the good right, news well, is... Gordon, from wherever he is... <laughs> somewhere. It's £2,000 of fine English money. £2,000, yeah, you have 50-50. Phone a friend yep. and ask the audience. Still untouched. Question number seven is for £4,000. Which of these is a growth on an oak tree? Oak peach, oak cherry, oak apple, oak orange. Oak apple. Are you sure? Yes. Final answer. Yes, final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £4,000. <laughs> um, you have £4,000, you have three lifelines untouched. Question number eight is for £8,000. Who is the mother of actress Rachel Sterling? Anna Massey, Diana Rigg, Anna Blackman, Maggie Smith. Anna Blackman, I know, was, a, I think was adopted children. Maggie Smith, I know, was a son, Toby Stevens. Don't know any children of Anna Massey. So I'll go with Diana Rigg. Final answer. Final answer. You just won eight thousand pounds. It's the right answer. <laughs> Listen, you're actually flying here. You've got eight grand. You have all three lifelines intact. Question number nine is for sixteen thousand pounds. You can double your money. You lose seven, obviously, if you gave me a wrong answer. Okay. Take your time. Have a look. What name is given to a word such as motel or brunch? which combines the meaning of two others. Portcullis word. Portfolio word. Portmanteau word. Portrait word. You've had three lifelines. It's mm -hmm. worth 16 grand. Pretty certain it's not portrait word. I'm sure it's not portcullis. Portfolio or portmanteau? I'll go 50 50. 
Right, computer take away two random wrong answers. Leave Gordon the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Portcullis is one of the ones I discounted. Portmanteau word. Well, you're not sure, are you? Of the two, portmanteau. Final answer. Final answer. Gordon. Yeah, let's go on. Try me. You've just won sixteen thousand pounds. <laughs> You have 16,000. Yep. Question number 10, if you went for it and gave me the right answer, is worth a guaranteed minimum of £32,000. And that would be the least you would leave us with tonight. Have a look at question number 10 and tell me what you want to do. A greatest hits album by which band was the first to be given a platinum classification by the Recording Industry Association of America? Chicago. The Eagles, Supertramp, The Doors. Oh, boy. To be honest with you, I am not confident on any of them. Well, it will be one of them. Hmm. Where are that? <laughs> Which one? You phone a friend. You can ask the audience. You can do both. I'll go with the ask the audience on this one. Right, audience, let's see what happens. Let's try it. Um, this is the question. A greatest hits album by which band was the first to be given a platinum classification by the Recording Industry Association of America? Now, A on your keypads will be Chicago. B, the Eagles. C, Supertramp. D, the Doors. All vote now. Seventy-five percent say Eagles, but it's your call. And if they're wrong, you lose fifteen thousand pounds. They don't. Yeah. But you only hear once in your life. I will be honest with you, I wish I was as confident as the audience. I'll take the 16,000. You phone a friend. Still got that. Still got the lifeline. Well, it's up to you, but it would be kind of madness to walk away without using yeah, all your lifelines. Go on, I'll phone. Oh, it's your, it's your yeah, choice. You, yeah. you control all of it, but... I'll phone. Right, now who would know? I'll call Mark. Mark, OK. Mark Knopfler. <laughs> Mark from Newport. Mark from Newport. In yes. Wales. OK, we'll phone Mark. 30 seconds. Yep. Do you want me to tell him it's worth 32 grand? No. No. Because it might spook him. Hello? Mark? Yes? Chris Tarrant, good evening. Oh, hi there. Hello, how are you? You sound very calm. Uh, I can assure you it's an illusion. <laughs> right, I've got Gordon here. He's doing OK. He's stuck on one particular question. Yep. OK, uh, there are still four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. That's the one we need. OK, All right, mate. Right, Gordon, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Hey, mate. A greatest hits album by which band was the first to be given a platinum classification by the Recording Industry Association of America? Chicago, The Eagles, Supertramp, The Doors. I'm guessing. I mean, you're better at pop music than I am. I mean, my instinct would be Ten seconds. the Eagles, but that's a pure guess. OK. Saying the Sorry, Eagles. Mate, can't be any more help than Five that. Seconds. OK, mate. Cheers, bud. Cheers, mate. Ta-da. All the life lines are gone.
from here on in. Well, it's been an interesting experience. It has been an interesting experience for you. Okay. One answer might not dissuade me, two answers will. I will go with the question, and I'll go with the eagles. Final answer. Final answer. Eagles was the right answer. You've just won £32,000. <laughs> What are you done? You can take quick, it. Uh, and take shift it. it. It's yours. So how are you feeling, Gord? How do you think anyone would feel in this position in this chair? <laughs> Presumably quite happy. <laughs> yes. Slightly light-headed. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the situation then, Gordon. Yeah. You have got £32,000 guaranteed. Question number 11 is for £64,000. You might as well play it. You have no lifelines, which might be critical, but okay. you should at least have a guess on it. Have a look at question number 11. We are just five away from £1 million. At the Castle Gate is the signature tune to which TV series? Mastermind. The Sky at Night. Question Time. News Night. Right, it's one in three. I know it isn't Mastermind. Why? Because that is approaching menace. OK. <laughs> but... I, I don't think it's B. Got night. I don't think so. Well, if you can work then... out one more that it's not, you're laughing, aren't you? But it's got to be the right one, hasn't it? There is that tiny detail. There is that minuscule detail. Kind of critical. <laughs> News night. Final answer. Final answer. The right answer was at the castle gate. Is the signature tune to the sky at night? Oh, <laughs> this is not bad, mate. Thirty-two grand in about Better than a... twenty minutes or whatever on the telly. Yeah, not bad. Thirty-two thousand oh, well. pounds. Give him a big hand. <laughs> well played, Amanda Jordy. Okay. More extreme action in and frequently out of the ring next here on Challenge in TNA Explosion.